last of my brother's killers. Not even an army of demons could have stopped me now. Both Johnny Ringo and Jim Reed fell fairly quickly. But the last one... Roscoe Bob Bryant. That son of a bitch had managed to escape my vengeance time and time again. I couldn't even be certain I'd recognize him after all those years. By now, he had to be close to 70. But for all you know, he could have been dead. That thought had indeed crossed my mind. As did others. For instance, did my thirst for vengeance turn me into something worse than the man I was after? By this point in my storied career, I had killed more men than Bob Bryant ever had. I was furious as hell at that bastard for making me who I am. Nothing could stop me from taking his life. I'd been after that killer forever. From the time I rode with Billy the Kid. But that chapter of my story, you already know. Chapter of that fairy tale, you mean? <sighs> Suddenly, it was 1910. There I was, an old man roaming a ghost town dead almost two decades. Just like me. But I wasn't about to call it quits. Even though the ghosts of my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you all right? Would you like some water? The Wild Bunch knew I was there. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled, buried in a grave of a dead amigo. I intended to fill that grave with Bob Bryant's corpse. But like I said, the bandits knew I was on to them. They lured me in and hit me with everything they had. Actually, in that moment, I did not prevail. So I suppose we're talking to a ghost. Funny you should put it like that, Jack. Put that geezer in the ground! Because when I woke up... Uh, from the dead? There was silence all around me. I could swear to God I saw Billy then. Billy who? 
Billy the Kid. William Bonney. He was shooting at me from a rooftop. Here, there, even over there. So I am right. You are tits in the head. Mr. Greaves, perhaps we should switch you to coffee? You see that old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer. Patrick uh. Floyd Garrett. He came at me guns a blazing. But I knew that old war horse had died two years before. I wondered if maybe I was dead too and confronting the ghosts of my past. Perhaps all my sins were coming back to haunt me and drag me down to perdition. I saw Henry Plummer throw dynamite at me. Cemetery. I saw John Wesley Harden, just like I remembered him. Robert Ollinger appeared with his terrible double barrel shotgun. No ghost army was stopping me. Uh, my father-in-law got hit with a fallen branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. Newman Hayes Blanton, William Rocious, John oh. Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead. Uh. Newman Hayes Clanton, William Brocious, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead. <sighs> Newman Hayes Clanton, William Brocious, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead. Robert and Grattan, guardians of the Garden of the Dead. George Curry and Harvey Logan, alias Kid Curry, both thirsty for vengeance from the great beyond. <laughs> Jesse, Woodson, James, and Jim Reed, each one deader than the next. I thought I would go crazy. Thought.
finally, I saw Harry Alonzo Longabaugh. The Sundance Kid? Like a general leading his Legion of the Dead. You told us before that you'd seen him alive. <laughs> he was alive. Then I heard a voice call to me from afar. It was Robert Leroy Parker, a.k.a. Butch Cassidy, coming at me from out of the fog. Thanks for taking care of that bastard. But the kid wasn't quite deceased. Not yet. Takes more than one little bullet to kill the likes of me, partner. Those two looked like they hadn't seen each other for quite a while. Clearly, they were no longer amigos. Shit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to kill you. You won't have to, Butch. I'm killing you first. I asked him about Bob Bryant. But they were too busy with their own heated conversation. Let me get this shit straight. You want my money and the love of my life? You frittered it all away, Butch. Etta's mine. So is that damn money. I didn't want to shoot anybody until I had an answer to my question. But those boys didn't give me much of a choice. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid died there in that cemetery not six months ago. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were killed by the Bolivian Army. Everybody knows that. That's the legend, but it ain't the truth. So, uh, you never found Bob? There is no Bob. This old some bitch ain't even Silas Greaves. Sir, is that true? Have you been pulling our legs this whole time? Well, not the whole time. Oh man, I think you've worn out your welcome here. Maybe you're right, Jack. Maybe it's time to pay. You see, Ben, or should I say Bob, 
Your past always catches up with you. I, I was a different man back then, crazy. Drinking, I, I changed my ways, I swear to you. If I could turn back the clock, I... But you can't, Bob. Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along... Why not just lay your cards on the table? Here. I won't have it said that I left you with nothing. That's how you want it? So be it. Holy shit! All right, Molly, move against that wall. Go! Did you know it was him all along? Cassidy told me Bob was in Abilene before he died. But I wasn't sure Ben was my man until he revealed how much he knew about Ringo and Reed. The coin, of course. Well, that was the last nail in that particular coffin. I better go get the sheriff. You okay, boy? You're looking might shook up. Uh, Dwight, maybe you best go home. Uh, young Eisenhower here is leaving for West Point tomorrow. Uh, he shouldn't get caught up in something like this. I think I might head out myself at this juncture. Unless you want to stop me, Jack. No, sir. Huh, Mr. Graves. So where are you going now? Now that you had your revenge? Doesn't really matter, does it? as I've sold my soul for it, and will never again walk with those I have lost. Won't you spare?